Hello and welcome to a new video of control engineering. This time we are going to talk about a controller which is combining some base controllers. Remember this one, the B controllers was the first controller we have talked about, the first continuous controller, B controller. And we also had this one, the I controller. And we said the B controller is pretty fast at the beginning and in the end it looks like it just don't cares. We said the I controller, in the beginning there is nothing happening and in the end it's going to be very very accurate. These are the two things. So why not combine those two? Hey, this is an idea, right? So make, a, instead of a P and an I controller, we will do a PI controller. PI controller. So actually a PI controller is uh, pretty much a parallel of a P and an I controller. Huh? So we have somewhere here a P, we have somewhere here the I, and this is summarized. So we have here the P, we have here the I. The input is in both cases the deviation, controller deviation. There's the output of the P element. There's the output of the I element. And then we are building the correcting variable. This is how this looks like. So here we have Y from S. And here we have XD from S. So, what is the total transfer function of a PI controller? Yeah. F regulator PI from S. This would be the transfer function of a P controller, which is actually KP plus the transfer function of the I controller. And there we said this is 1 divided by STO. Hmm? Usually we're not writing it that way. Hmm? Usually we write it, we factor out KP, hmm? and make a big bracket, then it's 1 plus 1 divided by STN. Hmm? STN here. This is interesting part. Yeah. This TN equals, of course, if I have to multiply this in, so this is TO multiplied by KP. Yeah. If I set this in, TO multiplied by KP, and if I bring this KP in, then KP is gone, yeah, and the only thing that's left is TO. Okay, so this is this is actually how it looks like. Yeah, we have discussed this in 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 the PI element when we discussed the PI element. So this controller is performing. Yeah? This is actually this is the controller. Yeah? A lot of controls are working with a PI controller which basically is a PI element, this control element, and, uh, well, yeah. it's sufficient for most, in most of the cases. Yeah. Sometimes we need, we have stability issues with such controllers. Yeah. Then we would need a differential part. If we need a differential part, next time we're discussing 
a different type of combined controller. Next time we're discussing a PD controller. Okay, so it will be pretty similar, but of course, if it's not a PI, this will be a D. What does it mean? We will see then in next video. Okay, for this time, you should know this is a PI controller. PI is heavily, 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 heavily used. Okay, that's it. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.